Hello guys, welcome back to Wayaholic. In today's video, I'm going to test the heart rate and SpO2 features of the CMF Watch Pro 2. But that's not all. I will also see if this watch can measure the heart rate and SpO2 of random objects. So stick around till the end. Here's my CMF Watch Pro 2 and an oximeter. I will start the heart rate test followed by the SpO2 test. Let's dive in. First, I will strap the watch onto my wrist and place the oximeter on the finger of my other hand. Now, I will enable the heart rate measurement. The watch and the oximeter have started measuring. It might take a moment to get the readings. Here are the results. The CMF Watch Pro 2 shows a heart rate of 77 BPM, while the oximeter reads 79 BPM with only a 2 point difference. If you are a CMF Watch user or enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Now, let's move on to the SPO2 test. To do this, I will head back to the main menu and select the SPO2 measurement option. Got it. I am going to follow the same process I used for the heart rate test. So I'll tap on measure and the watch will start measuring. Just like the oximeter. This will also take a little time to get the results. The CMF Watch Pro 2 shows an SpO2 level of 98% while the oximeter reads 97% with just a one point difference. I believe its heart rate and SpO2 measurements are quite accurate. As a runner, I use this CMF Watch Pro 2 to monitor my running activities. However, I noticed that it doesn't display the average heart rate. It only shows the resting and maximum heart rates along with a continuous graph that tracks your heart rate over time. It also has useful heart rate alerts for both resting and activity states, which is a great feature. From my experience, I can say that it provides a very accurate heart rate measurement, but in a limited way. Now, let's test the heart rate and SpO2 features on a random object. I'm going to use my water bottle for this experiment. I have strapped the CMF Watch Pro 2 onto the bottle, so let's start the heart rate test. It's going to take a little time. And now, I've got this pop-up saying please wear the watch on your wrist. I have tried several times, but it's not detecting the heart rate. Next, I tried the SpO2 test. And you can see I'm getting the same result here as well. It's not showing any measurement. This clearly indicates that the CMF Watch Pro 2 doesn't perform heart rate or SpO2 test on random objects, which is actually a good sign for the accuracy of this watch. If you want to watch more videos like this, then click on the i button to access the complete guide on the CMF Watch Pro 2. That's it in today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to Wearholic. If you have any questions, suggestions or queries, then drop them in the comments below. I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.